What is up all my smarties? It's me, Dummy Provided, and um, I was doing a video on this, but I encountered a problem during me editing the video. My mic was off. So, there was so much shit to... Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm a try my best to explain this, even if I'm horrible at explaining it. So, here's the thing. I played the tape, or the tape and the tape recorder. It was music. Some crazy ass rock music, I believe. I don't know. I didn't really understand it. <laughs> and then I found another tape in the dresser and it was more music. And then I started getting desperate of finding out where shit is and why thank you for turning on the light I was starting to get desperate look look I have to find all the crap again look at this I have to find all the shit again I'll be right back who I am I the found secret house girl I found secret I found secret by Wait. accident scare the shit out of me though look Wait, get this out of my hand it was under the three ring binder Look at this shit. I found a letter. One Arbor Hill, Boone Country, or Orgel, or Orja, I don't know. Turns Greenbrier, 1888, Dry Creek Road, Forest Grove, words. I can't read! What does it say? August 10th, 19th. Fucking. Did, did I. Wait, what? Oh, it's a question mark. Okay, that's what that's what's gonna show. Me. Put it back. Yeah. I can't read cursive, damn it. They tried teaching us, I only learned how to put my name in cursive and that's it. That was a pretty cool thing I found at least. Don't know what the fuck it says. But hey, it's something. Alright, back to getting everything. <sighs> I finally found it, Jesus Christ. I know how to get between the goddamn walls now. Now that my character has the knowledge, or I think I'm Katie. Yeah, I'm Katie. Katie has the knowledge of this goddamn thing, which pisses me off. Push. Yep, let's go through hell again. Turn the light. Look at this, yep. Let the lights burst. The lights only burst when I pick up the cross? Well, fuck you. Alright, let's... Let's get the panels again. Boop. There's Misfits! Yeah! I don't give a fuck. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust. And then I could see... She was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so... I don't know... nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and Kiss. I really hoped she could tell. Kiss. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. Kiss. I felt like a shook up can of soda Kiss. ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Fucking asshole. Alright, I'm not gonna... Okay, look at this. Okay, now... This is something... I don't know what I was getting at. No, wait, fuck. October 22nd. Yeah, we already we, we read this one in the last episode, I believe. Louie and I employed Yuiji board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. That's the shit that pissed me off the most. That they got a Yuiji board in this shit. And during my recording, which I had to redo all over fucking again. Watch this shit. Boom. Boom. Fucking Yuiji board. Look at that shit. Look at it. 
Yes, no. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 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 Goodbye. Look at that shit. That's the most terrifying shit there is. The fucking pen they used. The other side of the shit that I was looking for. And here it is. This is what I this is what it said. This is what the damn thing said. One. Hello. Two. Who are you? Oscar. Three. What do you want? To come back. That's about it. You know why? Because they didn't want to fuck with him anymore. They didn't want to fuck with Oscar. Because, as we all know, in this composition book that the fucking Samantha Greenberg had, it says, Oscar is definitely here. And in the beginning, in the first page of this fucking book, look, 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 it says, in the first entry, August 31st, 1994, 1.19 a.m., a tall shadow in the upstairs hall, when I rounded the corner, no one was there, how tall was Uncle Oscar? Notice, I was not wearing my glasses. Uncle Oscar. And the fucking Ouija board pa paper said, Oscar. Boom. Uncle Oscar is haunting the shit out of this house. Scared as shit now that I realize this. Fucking zero, five, zero, one. Finally, fuck's sake. Gosh. Ooh. Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hello there, Rhino. Grab a cigar pack. Hello. Morley. Filter cigarettes. Remarkably smooth. You don't know. Who are you? Oh, Looney. 90, Looney 94. I don't know what the 94 is, but okay. Oh, she was cute. Lonnie well, came over today. But everything was Basement keys different. Oh, fuck. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't I find you. the words. I love you. I felt like I was gonna cry, but Kiss I wasn't me, sad. Bitch. That's what you had to She say. got up and sat next to me on the bed. Worked with all the women. I looked at her. Don't listen to me. Lonnie... Do you think you could ever... Lonnie. And that's when she kissed me. Boom! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> to finish off what I said last video, look, I answered the tape. Hear that shit? Fucking rock music. Alright, now we have. What do we have? We have the code that I use in property of Sam private that you tore it up. And we have the basement keys. Basement, fuck you. I'm going in there. When do I get to see Uncle Oscar? Because that's the most terrifying part of this. Now, my left elbow is acting up from this. That is not the basement? What? Basement over here? Fuck off, lightning. That actually scared me. Okay. Now that we're actually progressing, and I know there's a save and quit button, I'll be more, more happy to do all this shit. Unlocked. Okay, here we go. To the basement. Do a 360 down that shit. Alright, here we go. Basement, there's fucking cobwebs and shit. Look at the fucking walls. I'm pissed still. Turn on light. Really didn't do much. What the, what the fuck is this? Potato, potato chips. Beautiful. Renote. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your adult for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoy the flavorful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it was for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very quarterly yours, your close friend and congenent, Looney D, or Lonnie D, a fancy man. Quiet. Dear Miss DeSoto, 
allow me to take this opportunity to thank you and kind of being such a great gracious host of the festival festivities at your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents your family's thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events i must say i especially appreciate the time i spent with your grandmother who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air let's do it again sometime next year next year shall we indeed madam samantha Rainmire. yes you the fucking son of frizzy you were in the beginning fuck is that chiming salmon letter oh that salmon lordy and you're so cute it's different now i mean we still hang out all the time like what before are you talking about? But now when no one else is around, well, you know, so you could say we're dating, Aww. but it's secret. <laughs> secret dating? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. The adorable. Um, uh, what are you? What the fuck are you? Oh, ha! <laughs> You're connected and shit. What is this? Oh, they're oh, she's buying this shit. Oh, that's cool. I like this. That's a lot of fucking. That's I don't. I I I can't afford that. <laughs> oh, what are you? Reed College, Samantha Green Bar, One Arbor Hill. There's Samantha Courageously Die. Oh. She gets to go to Reed College. For... Yeah, yeah, you guys can read that. I'm so stupid sometimes. No, you're not. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, You should come visit me. Stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, Ship out? The fuck you to going? where? She said, To basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? No. I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? Oh no. She said, let's just have fun while we can. Listen to Lonnie. What the fuck is this book? Uh. Practical pharmacy. The pharmaceutical. So it's a. F is that Oscar then? What the fuck is this? Richard Greenbrier, professor, uh, professor, doctor, professor learned of English University of Oregon, 1956. So that has to be Oscar. Wait, was it? Uh, oh, this is one of Granddad's books. Joyce, a complete understanding. Richard Greenberg, PhD, University of Oregon Press. All right. All right. Progress. One of Dad's books with something stuck to it. Oh fuck no! Don't trust a damn thing in this place now. Is that a mirror? That ain't no mirror. The Accidental Savior. Oh, hello. Dear Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book and Arthur's first published man manuscript is a um, momentous occasion. Momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter and Arthur's work is the, extern is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work has successful, was successful. Ah, uh, you guys can read. I can't read good. Bam. I hope you enjoyed reading that. I think this mom citizen stuff. Oh, oh, she became a citizen. Nice. Oh, it's a three ring banger and stack on top of a three ring banger. Nice. Now, why is this light on if I haven't been down here yet? Well, fucking hell.
Yo, wait a minute. Hold up. Does that mean there's a ghost in here? Fuck that. Mm -mm. Grab button. X-ray specs. Boom. What are you? I can't read most of this. Except for the dragon. Miss Samantha Green Bear, 1 April Hill, Boone Country, or Boone Country, or 97141. USA! Roar! Roar! page. It's like a drug. The first time was in my room in the middle of the night. I woke up and Looney was kissing me. The clock said 3 What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? No, no. Nope. No, bit. No, wait, no, go back. No, nope. No. I, no, not gonna happen. I, no. Bit, I'm recording. I got that shit. I didn't even get to read that, you lucky bastards. Oh, I'm so gonna go over the recording. What? What? Get. I, no. Not gonna happen. Nope. Why? I want to read that. What is this? Salmon form. Samantha Green buyer. Seen Wald find jewelry. Oh, I, oh, she bought the heart thing. Awesome. I grabbed the set. Now, what the fuck is this? Girl Scout with a heart. Self. Girl Scout. Self. So is that? What's gonna happen? I'm actually scared. Okay. Side B. Alright, so it's just the same. So let's continue our journey, journey over here. I'm gonna check if I'm recording. Sorry for this part. Okay, I'm back. Um... What the fuck is that? Gloves? Oh, man. Book. What does it say? Ledger. Marion's Pharmacy. The pharmaceutical book. Farmal. Farm. I, f I can't speak. Postcard. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from Malt, uh, Malt Nama, Malt, Malt Nama Falls, Malt Nama, Malt Nama Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I, d and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you come. No. Stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Okay. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Screw you! But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though? I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick Fuck with them. the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Examine newspaper clipping. Mason's pharmacy change hands. These from the school of under the management photo by Jay Hunt. The shoppers of Main Street were surprised today at the announcement that Mason's Pharmacy would change ownership for the first time since it opened 10 years ago. Rumors swirled that the sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for a song. When asked about speculation that the deal had been signed for as little as $1? Damn! Mr. Samuel Onstein, Oscar Mason's longtime assistant and now prop proprietor of Mason's pharmacy, told the registry 
the specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason had taken sick and was unavailable for a comment. Oh, that's oh, that's when the bad shit are. Why the fuck are there so many newspapers down here? Anyhow, uh, whatever. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I don't know about I don't know which hallway to take. Do you want me to take the hallway that has the nope paper? <laughs> the paper that rudely interrupt our reading? Nope. The nope paper route? Or do you want me to take uh, the pharmaceutical route? The pharmacy route? Because the lights have been on and I don't know what happened here. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Look, flicker.